the sun. I gotta get the nerves out. Let the sun shine in. Let the sun shine in. The sun shine in. Hey, what's going on? Welcome, Ando. Welcome back. My name is Durant Cersei. I am a singer, songwriter, producer, performer, actor, if you nasty. And welcome to the house of the unofficial and sometimes, as you will see here, the unprofessional fragrance and skincare guru. Baby, before we get started, Start it. After you have watched this video, you have liked and you have subscribed to my channel. I want you to go on down in that description box and get your life. When I say I'm a singer, songwriter, producer, performer, I told no lies. And there's a link down there to prove it. Okay, get your life. All right. Anyway, so today I am going to be telling you the top seven vanilla fragrances that I am looking forward to wearing during this fall season. Now. Nah. These fragrances are for him, they're for her, for them, and for they. Why do you say that, Durant? I'll tell you. Now, a lot of these girls, and when I say girls, I mean girls and guys, <laughs> are making these vanilla fragrances and they're just catering to one demographic. I am here for the girls, the guys, <laughs> the non-binary, and the trans. Now, even though I fall under the G, under the LGBTQIA umbrella, <laughs> I love everybody, baby. It's all inclusive over here. It's all inclusive. Because everybody, especially when you watch the ladies, everybody don't want to smell like, you know, a cookie and a cake. And so most of those vanilla fragrance videos, they cater to the cookies and the cake. But, and you know, also, no shade to nobody. Well, actually, <laughs> um, you know, in this video, I won't be selling anything. So you can sit back, you can relax, and just enjoy me. All right. Well, the, the content creators, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that shade, that low-key shade. You're probably like, well, you're not monetized, so you can't sell nothing anyway. Girl, girl mind your business. <laughs> mind your business, okay? Anyway, so how y'all do it? I just want to know how y'all do it first. I don't want to just, you know, rush into it. I like to take it nice and slow. Nice and slow. Nice and... I... I am a wreck, <laughs> but uh, we ain't gonna talk about it. I am a complete wreck, but we are not going to dwell on that negativity because that's not what I'm here for, okay? So I have one honorable mention before I get started, okay? And the honorable mention is from the Amir U, which is in Dallas. And this is Vanilla Planifolia Extra, let me see, 21, baby. And now why is this an honorable mention? I am going to say this is an honorable mention because it is a dupe. And let, can we talk about dupes really quick? When it comes to me, this is a Guerlain, uh, it's a dupe for Guerlain's uh, Vanilla Planifolia x 21 as well. So, I have not, spell, I, I have not smelled the um, Guerlain fragrance. I wish that I could smell it. But for me and um, dupes, because I know the fragrance community, which I am not a part of. Hey, y'all. I'm on the outside. Hey, y'all. I don't want to be a part of it. I'm, I'm on the outside. I'm by myself. I'm over here by myself. I don't know y'all. I don't know you. I don't. We don't need to be friends. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so when it comes to me, I know a lot of people are very finicky about dupes. A lot of people are snobby, like, oh, I don't want to tie dupes because, you know, I like the original. For me, like a fragrance like this costs almost $700. Now, I am going to, for most times when I'm trying to dupe, I want to get the vibes of the fragrance. Because, like, for instance, I have a dupe for Velaya, alleged dupe for Velaya. I want Velaya, so I'm getting keeping the vibes until I'm willing to fork up $300, you know, to buy the actual fragrance. So dupes for me are not something that I, you know, buy just because, you know, I just want to take the cheap route. But I do want to take the cheap route, okay? <laughs> but it's to give me the vibes of the fragrance, and it'll let me know because sometimes for me where I'm at, I don't get to... Uh, sample a lot of fragrances because we don't have those stores here where I, I mean I can go an hour away but I'm not going to no so I order the dupes and it'll give me the vibe and let me know if I can't get a hold of the actual fragrance so I love this one this is a very um, this is a layering fragrance though it's not if the girl on is like this I would not want to spend almost $700 on this but it's good it's more of a layering fragrance if I'm gonna spend $700 I need that fragrance to perform by itself. 
And so this is sweet. It's a sweet vanilla, ambery, spicy, yet very light and sexy vanilla. This is one I can wear it by itself, but I'm definitely going to have me on a fire, you know, body cream or body uh, uh, oil or something to go with this because this doesn't light my fire by itself, but it's sexy. It will, it will do like if you have a little romantic by the fireplace with your man or your woman's or your them or your days, whoever you like. <laughs> you know, it'll be sexy, you know, to wear on its own in those moments, the intimate moments. But just going outside, wanting to feel sexy because I, I'm i going to walk in the room and I'm going to own it, even in my Target and Walmart clothes, okay? Y'all going to be walking in there with y'all Louboutin and y'all still ain't going to make no mark. <laughs> but, you know, some of us got the I and the T. Some of us just got the I for the T. <laughs> you know, I got both. So, but anyways, yeah, this is something that's very much intimacy type fragrance anyways we are going to get into this and i'm going to go kind of fast you know i'm not going to get too in depth because i am the unprofessional fragrance uh connoisseur so uh i don't know you go to them other channels that know everything they know the patchoulis and the flowers and the you know all that was good things <laughs> don't come over here with that we just go by how we feel and sometimes we may throw a little note inside there okay so the first one i've talked about this one before but I want to say that I love it and I'm going to say it again and I look forward to wearing it a lot more because it is something that I know is going to light my fire, especially during the fall, the cold. It's starting to get a little cool now, you know, I ain't got no boots, so I ain't got nobody to cuddle. What what it feel like to have somebody to cuddle with y'all? Because I ain't cuddled in years. Like, how do I feel? Like, does it feel good? Does it make your body tingle like, it, you know, they say in the movies? Like, what what it make you feel like? Like, I want somebody to hold me and touch my nipples and I, I mean, anyway. Ne never mind, never mind, never mind. This is G rated. This is G rated. Okay. That fragrance is. That is Okcha. That viral vanilla. Okcha and Paul reacts, I should say. This is a collaboration with the uh, very, um, I guess, TikTok famous Paul reacts with a nice, beautiful skin. I was pleasantly surprised by this. And I've been surprised every, every single time I've worn it because I get. Like compliments every time, which compliments are not what we aim for. We just want to walk out feeling sexy. Because I can walk out, if I feel sassy, I don't care who say I smell good or not. I mean, I, I mean, I like being told I smell good. But if I feel sexy, if I don't get a compliment, I'm still going to be all right. But anyways, this right here, of course, has vanilla. That caramel pops out to me. Um, I love the fact that there is a honey note. I am a honey note person, and I love it. And it gives very ambery. I don't know if there's a patchouli note, but it kind of gives me um, like a woody amber, like not woody, but kind of woody, spicy, almost kind of earthy vanilla. But it's very sexy to me. He actually did a really good job with this so shout out to paul reacts baby him and that pretty skin of his yes god i wonder if he's nice in person has anybody met him is he nice in person <laughs> i'm just a little curious because you know some of them they be yeah yeah and you know you meet them and they be like wah, wah, wah. now i just want to tell y'all if y'all meet me i am very quiet I, i'm really like this in real life but if i don't know you i'm very observant so if you come like i'm a, i'm probably looking mean just love me. And so if you come to, you know, say, hey, Durant, I'm going to be like, hey, what's going on? See, that's how I give. So if I look like rude or if I look mean in the face, please just say hi to me. And I will guarantee you, I'll probably be like, hey, what's going on? You know, but, uh, you know, if nobody talk to me, I'm be in the corner just watching everybody. So if somebody try me, I already done figured out how I'm going to read you. <laughs> I already figured out what I'm going to read if you try me. So, uh, you know, hey. It's all love, okay? Hey. Anyways, I um, I have been having kind of a rough, you know, few days. But, you know, I, when I get on this camera, it's always camera action, baby. I feel, I feel good. <laughs> okay, the next one. Now, that one here, that was for they, them. That's for everybody. 
This one here leans a little more from a mom, but I would give it, I would probably place it in the non-binary category because, you know, we're all inclusive over here, okay? We, we, we do the feminists. I love the women's over here. You'll never hear me talking about how I don't like black women's or, you know, dissing any black women like some of these men with microphones be doing. But, you know, <laughs> it'd be disgusting. But, but that's another subject, okay? Hey, microphones, dope, dope, boring people. <laughs> dope. <laughs> you won't get that. Anyway, this is Billy Eilish, baby. Yes, boobs, 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 boobs. That is, I kind of like this package. I know some people don't get into it, but I actually really think this is nice. Okay, so this here is another one to me, a spicy vanilla, very much fitting for the fall for me. I'm not really all all vanillas. Mo most vanillas are fitting for the fall because you know when it gets hot down here, and I don't want to smell like berries and vanillas and stuff <laughs> during the heat. That's just me. But it's spicy to me. It's very musky. If you're not a musky girl, you might not like it. I smell that nice sweet tonka bean, and of course, vanilla. This is definitely a non-binary but lean a little more from a mom but anybody can wear it because you know i'm cozy i'm gonna wear whatever the hell i want to okay as you gonna see here okay but billy eilish is another one i am extremely excited to wear during this season baby i've been holding her hostage because i'm like no it's too hot to do this vanilla it's too hot it's too hot okay anyways the next fragrance is for my men's you know i love my men's you know i, I love my, i can't find one but i love my men's <laughs> I can't find a good one. I can find one. I can't find a good one. A decent one that actually want to be in a loyal, committed, monogamous relationship. You know, but that's another story. Anyways, this one here is by Our Money. This is Stronger With You and Tensely. I was pleasantly surprised by this. I actually wore this yesterday. This is more, it leans more masculine. I think maybe some women or some non-binaries dating them will probably enjoy this. Um, who love really strong, masculine leaning scents. Um, first initial, like when I wore it on the skin, it was, it gave me very kind of an ambery, woody, boozy type. Um, and a vanilla, of course. This is a sexy man said i hate saying it. I, I didn't want to say it i didn't want to say it it's it's suitable for a man like if there was somebody i was liking that what is i might you, you might get swallowed long as you ain't wearing um uh savage <laughs> and, and you look good and you know all the things you go get it up but this right here this fragrance right here this is very sexy ladies Ladies, if you want your man on a vanilla, a sexy vanilla, but that ain't too feminine for my mom, because I know a lot of ladies, they don't want their man smell like a woman. Now, you you, you definitely wouldn't want them to smell like me, because I, like today, I have covered in roses, and I'm wearing K. Ollie's Rose Oud. So, you you definitely don't want your man smell like me. Even though I smell good, I smell a little, <laughs> I smell a little gay. No, oh, but that's okay. Whatever, what's gay smell like? Okay, well, I smell very fruity. You know, they love to call me fruity when I was in school. <laughs> okay. Like, I didn't know. But, yes, this is a sexy fragrance. I wore it yesterday. It was a little uh, hot, but not too hot. And I was just like, yes. When I get my winter clothes on, get me a fake uh, leather, because we don't wear real leather over here. Protect the animals. Wear, wear my fake leather. When I get one, maybe from, you know, someplace, <laughs> this will smell amazing on that. All right, the next one here is, this one here can be for anybody, but we're going to lean it over there to the non-binaries non and the men's. Is, and you know, the women's can be in there too, the women's that like the real strong. See, it's, it's inclusive over here. Everybody can wear this. You, you know, vanillas don't mean you have to smell like a cookie and a cake, but all these vanilla fragrance videos, y'all, they want everybody to smell like cookies and candies and cakes. We don't want to do that. I mean, we do, but not all the time, okay? And this one here is actually from Amazon. And this here is called Swiss Arabian. Ooh, let me try to give you a moment. If I can get... Yes, this right here. I have had this macerating for over a year. And this is sexy. You know I am a rose note guy. To me, I don't know because I don't have 
no notes. They might, and somebody said they use a script when they do their video. I'm like, ooh, I might need to do that one day, but it probably would definitely come off as script. Like, you know, I'd probably give all that. To me, a rose note pops out. So if uh, whoever, can, you know, has this fragrance or whatever, if there's not a rose note, I'm sorry, whatever. But to me, a rose note come out, it pops out because you know I love a rose and that's like what I smell. Of course, that oud, the praline, and of course, the vanilla. This right here is going to be a sexy beast. When I tell you, I love the way this smells. So what, with these, you have to... Sharita said you got to spread in there, like spread five times. When you get these little Amazon fragrances, you know, let them macerate. And then, you know, let after you let it macerate for a few months, weeks, whatever, the beauty of the fragrance is out. Okay? That's, I mean, that's hey, that's the rules that they made. I didn't make them. I just follow them. And, baby, I'm glad I do. This is so sexy. Praline is such a beautiful note. Praline would, okay, it may not be a rose note. I smell rose, okay? I smell rose. I smell rose, praline, oud, and vanilla. That's what I smell. So, this is going to, I'm going to tear y'all up with this. <laughs> I'm going to tear you up. I'm going to walk in before. And then when I walk in, he owns the room. Like Nene said, <laughs> when I walk in, I own the room. In my Target clothes. <laughs> I ain't got no fashion sense, and you know, I'm working on it. I need like a, I need a stylist, especially if I do a new video, because baby, I look at some of my music videos, I'm like, girl, what was you wearing? I don't say girl, I be, <laughs> I be like, what are you wearing? <laughs> like on my uh, Please Don't Forget About Me video, I really had like all the black owned products, I had the black owned shirts, and I thought I was really doing it big, like, ooh, I got on everything black owned, everything, but I mean, it was nice, but I looked tacky. <laughs> I look real Anyways, the next one, you are not going to believe this one. And I want you to just, I just want to let you know, believe it. And this is from the iconic Michelle Pfeiffer's brand, Henry Rose. And this is Queens and Monsters. Let me tell you something. This right here, see, I told you. We're not smelling like cookies and cake. Vanillas come in all shapes, sizes, and forms, okay? This right here, woody, aromatic, amber, a little citrusy to me, and of course, vanilla. Let me tell you something about this fragrance, and I think I've said that 50 million times. This fragrance, when you smell it, when you go to the store, to because it says Sephora, if you go to the Sephora and you smell this, you are going to be like, this smells like dirt. This smells dirty, and you will. Now, if you spray this on a piece of paper like I did when I first, uh, when Ariel asked that boy, girl, she, no, she didn't say that. <laughs> she was like, she was like, you need to smell Queens and Monsters. So I went and I sprayed it on the little thing at uh, Sephora. Baby, this thing smell like dirt, nasty, trash. I was like, girl, what is you telling me about this fragrance? Like, you knew I wasn't going to like this. She was like, no, no, you need to go on back and put it on your skin. Baby, I put this on my skin and it gave me my life. When you put it on your skin, that's when that citrus beauty and that vanilla pops out. It has to go on skin. If you spray it on paper, it's not going to give you what it gives. This fragrance is beautiful, but it needs to be on your skin. Okay, I'm telling you, because when you smell it, it's going to smell dirty. It's going to smell dirty. I'm, I'm telling you right now. And so you, you're going to listen, you're going to smell it and be like, there ain't no vanilla in this fragrance. It is. It is, baby. It. This is a beautiful freaking fragrance. This is now. You probably like. Why is your dent not big? I had a travel size. Okay, niece. I had a travel size. All right. I had a travel size, and then I finally got this here. This is one of the best fragrances I have smelled in the past year. I know it came out maybe 2022, I believe, or something like that. But this fragrance right here, it's. It's not going to be for everybody. So if you smell it, even on your skin, you'd be like, ugh. I understand because this one and um, Charlotte Tilbury's More Sex are very, to me, complicated, uh, misunderstood fragrances. But I get them. And baby, maybe because I'm, I'm always an outsider, it's just, you know, my vibe. But Henry Rose by Queens and Monsters. Get your life. Now we have two more left. See how quick this was? Go, babe. 
Now this one here is a black owned brand and I am very proud. I have loved this person for so many. I mean, you know, I'm gonna stop saying love cause I don't know y'all. I, I have liked this person <laughs> for a long period of time and that is Jackie Ina along with her husband or fiance, I don't know, Dennis and Forever Mood. And this is hard to get. I love all of the Jackie Ina fragrances, but this is the fragrance I couldn't, you know, handle during the summertime because it was a little more gourmandy in a way. But this is such a zesty citrus lemon cake vibey. It's so freaking good. And then you have that like whip type vanilla. It's it smells like you're um going you you're You've walked into this nice, sexy, vanilla cake vibey <laughs> moment. So it gives all of that. And then that jasmine in there kind of gives it a light floral vibe. So I really, really am going to enjoy this more in the fall season because I couldn't, you know, like I said, it was a little too gourmandy for me in the uh, summer and spring. It just didn't, it wasn't that. So. I am very much looking forward to this. Now, if I had somebody, you know, to cuddle with, uh, which I hope to have at least in the next six months to a year or something like that, I need somebody to cuddle with. I'm going to wear this. You know, some, this is something like I'm going to wear, you know, so you can want to hit me up because I want I want to be swallowed. You know, I, I have no shame in my game. I want to be swallowed. Okay. <laughs> so this is Jackie Ina Dennis Forever Moves Hard to Get, baby. That vanilla is giving me life and it's everything. Now, the grand finale, this is the last fragrance and the one out of all of these. No, I can't say out of all of these, but this is one I'm really looking forward to the most to wear. Because <clears throat> out of all of the fragrances here, I have kind of tried them throughout the um, hot days, you know, the past hot days in the summer. This one I have not touched because I know it's like, whoa, it's too much, way too much. I can't deal with it. I should have cleaned my glasses because they are dirty. Oh, they are. But anyways, what, what y'all think it is? I will give you a clue. I will give you a clue or a hint. It ain't uh, K. Ali's Vanilla 28. <laughs> <laughs> Cause everybody got vanilla on they on they thing. Like girl, okay, that's a good one. But hey, who we got? That vanilla royale sugar patchouli. Yes, yes. This is the one. This. Now y'all know that um, vanilla uh, not vanilla but Kaylee's elixir eleven is always bay. Something about this fragrance. This is probably one of the sexiest fragrances from K. Ali. Now I know some people got feelings about K. Ali. Those are your feelings. I'm not, uh, you know, lowering your feelings or making your feelings invalid. I just don't care. When it comes to <laughs> K. Ali, I, let me tell you from my heart, as a person who follows my own mind, I may get like um, recommendations, but when it comes to this mind here, I think it's for myself. So if I like some, it's because I like some, okay? So I'm telling you, I like Kayali. Now, Lychee was a little hard for me. It was a little hard. But this right here, out of all of the Kayali fragrances, and I love pretty much every single one of them. I'm wearing Rose Oud today. <laughs> This is probably the sexiest fragrance I have smelled from K. Ali, period. Period. This is my second bottle, <laughs> my second, and <sighs> it gives me um, <laughs> African Prince from Zamunda, smelling good, sexy, sweet, spicy, woody, Ooh, of course that vanilla. It's a little powdery to me. If you smell this, is, does it give like does it give like a little powdery to you as well? And I don't know. I think it was sugar. I don't know what sugar patchouli is, but I think I'm really starting to like patchouli because patchouli is very. It comes off very kind of dirty and masculine, but I've been really getting into the patchouli life, and baby, 
this right here gives you dressing up in your app not african but in your suit baby you are making people stop because baby i went to a few parties with this he was getting stopped stop 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 baby i was getting stopped wearing this by itself it is the sexiest chaotic fragrance of all time period point blank and when it's cold outside you make it wear this in the summer i can't when it's cold outside, baby, this comes alive. And I, I wore it with Elixir 11. Oh, baby, you can tell me I wasn't a king of Zamunda. <laughs> Arriba, 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 Domingue, Mongo, Nido, Ingenio. Baby, got my life. Ooh, baby, come on now. So this Kayali is the one I'm, I'm looking forward to wearing this one the most because I have not worn it at all, all, you know, throughout the summer and spring because it's just too harsh. For, no, no, let me stop. I did. I did wear it. I tried this with the uh, Brown Sugar Babes um, It Girl um, oil. Those two, that combo right there, that's what I, that's going to be my vibe. I was just testing it to see because it had like the similar notes to this. Doesn't smell the same. Um, it has similar notes to this. So I was just testing it to see like what it would give. And yes, I'm going to be wearing that in the fall season with this. Along with, you know, uh, <laughs> Alexa 11. So when I walk in the room, baby, they're going to be like, well, they do that even if I don't wear that. Yeah, I mean, I, I just have this presence even at 5'4". I just have it. You know, some people, they laugh because they, they notice that I'm a little gay. But, uh, you know, that's, I don't care. <laughs> and, you know, some of them, they be laughing. But then, you know, they, they in my DMs after the event. You know, it, hey, whatever you want to do, as long as you notice me. Okay. Anyways, no, I'm just kidding. I appreciate you all for being here with me. And my vanilla fragrances that I am looking forward to wearing. This is no shade, no bad. I was just joking. These are all jokes. We're all inclusive. But I'm just saying over here, we are inclusive. So you need to get your life and subscribe, baby. All right. Hey, hey, hey. But I will be back sometime soon because I have a dupe that I want to compare to one fragrance that I have enjoyed this summer. And baby, I am so excited to talk about it. Baby. So you might want to subscribe, you might want to like, please comment, and shout out to everybody who's been here, who has been giving me, sending me nice words, nice vibes. I really do appreciate it, and I don't know why I just stared in the space. <laughs> I, I do that, I'm sorry, I can still talk, but I did. I was talking to a friend, and I really enjoy just really talking uh, to people and I was just I was talking to a friend about you know doing YouTube and I was just like I don't know what my end game is and uh, because over here I love talking about my fragrances but I don't want to be a salesman it seems like everybody on TikTok and YouTube is selling something and I don't want to be a so I don't want to be a salesman and I just don't know I want I've always uh, been a performer and so hopefully I, I think, hopefully I want this to kind of catapult me into a stratosphere of doing what I've always loved to do, which is act, which is, I, I would love to host because I love to talk. I love to walk around the stage, <laughs> tell a little joke, you know, I can, I, I can do a microphone. I can, I can act up on a microphone. See, and the thing is, it's crazy because a lot of people, I see a lot of people complain about. Oh, I don't get enough views. You know, I only got a thousand views. And it's like, honey, sweetie pie. Now, hypothetically, I don't get those kind of views. And I know it. And I, I get upset too. But I just be like, with you. Because I'm different. <laughs> with you, sweetness. Can you actually stand up in front of a thousand people and talk? Now, I can't. <laughs> I can't. So if I complain about it, I have a legitimate reason because I can stand in front of a crowd and talk and entertain a crowd, you know, in person. But, you know, so I don't want, I still don't want to complain about, you know, the fact that, oh, I don't have enough. But, you know, hopefully this will catapult me to, you know, I want to host and, you know, talk to people and, you know, you know, interview. I never thought I wanted to interview until recently, but I just love, I would love to interview Mariah Carey, you know, but, you know, that'd be like, 
you, I love Mariah. She's my favorite. I, I don't care what anybody says. She will always be my favorite. But yeah, I was like, I don't know what my end game is because I just don't want to. I don't want to be an influencer. I, um, you know, if people buy what I say, that's why I uh, try to be particular in saying what I like. I don't want to say like, oh, you need to run. Don't walk. Like, girl, shut up. <laughs> like not not the people that I like. I'm not talking about the people that I like. Some people is like, girl, you... okay. But um, yeah, I don't want to be that person to just uh, you know try to sell things, especially now with all that's going on. It's just it, people are not affording it. It's just this is the way it is. So I hope that this. I think I hope I I think I want this to catapult me to you know actually do what I love, which is perform, sing, write music, create. You know, uh, entertain people. That's what I want to do. I want to entertain people. I don't know why I'm talking about this. Anyways, I hope you all. <laughs> <laughs> Have a great rest of your week. I might be back before the end of this week. So go on and subscribe again, you know, so you can get notified when it happens because I will be back one day soon. I just don't know when it is. All right. I'll talk to you later. Please take care of yourself. Please take care of your bodies. I am I'm making a self, oh, not self. I'm making a conscious effort to move my body 30, 30 minutes a day. I also say 30 minutes a week, 30 minutes a day, uh, because I'm a caregiver and I kind of get um, stuck in sitting too long and, you know, doing this. And side note, for all the people who know about the job situation, I might not be taking a job because everything has been falling down to the wayside. But, you know, if, if I don't, I'll, I'll know by the end of this week. It's all good. I feel like God got me and I'll be okay, whatever the case may be. So um, I'm not going to uh, dwell on it, weep on it, and cry about it anymore. All right, I'll holler at you later. Bye.